Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. We're here again. We're going to show how we do use this little hand sprayer. we got a little patch of clover here. Uh, it's kind of a thin patch. Uh, you know, this yard doesn't have a whole lot of weeds, but here we got clover. We haven't had clover for years in this yard. So a little bit popping up. So I'm going to show you how to spray it. Whenever you're using a, a pump sprayer, we already had this thing adjusted and mixed properly. Whenever you're using it on clover in particular, you want to try to get just the leaves wet, right? So you go through here and just try to wet all the leaves. Clover's a little tougher. Make sure you get all of it. And don't have to wet it down too much. Like, see how that was really actually pretty light? Now clover, I do a little extra on, but I'll come at a different angle. And now, that guy's done right there. So let's pause it and then we're gonna show how to spray another weed. All right, and so here we are. We got some prostate spurge. That's a summer annual weed. I'm gonna spray that guy down. And that's super easy. I always walk backwards. I don't like to walk over my spray. I don't walk over it until it's done uh, being dry. And that's all you have to do. Just don't do it around the kids and the dogs. Just go out, spray, wait till it dries, which only takes like 30 minutes, especially if you're doing it on a sunny, dry day. Around this time, uh, around noon or so, that's a great time to spray. That way the sun helps it work in as well. Uh, so we got those. We have some yellow nut sedge. What's nice about this particular product I'm using, it does the broadleaf weeds and it also does yellow nut sedge. This is yellow nut sedge right here. And so I just kind of squirted down on that stuff. And then here's some more yellow nut sedge. And so, you know, the key to really keeping a lawn clean uh, is making sure that you're spraying, doing the best you can. You're not gonna get everything your first go through. You might not even get it heavy enough on one. You might get it too heavy and hurt grass, so let's not go too heavy. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is come back in a couple weeks and kind of survey the lawn and see if you have some leftover weeds or weeds that need a little extra to finish killing it off, and you got a clean lawn. Okay, also it's gotten really hot, so we get a lot of weeds along these edges, and you can see here, I mean, we have prostate purslane. This is kind of a fleshy-like guy right here. Okay, sorry about that. I'm a really busy guy. People call on me all the time. That's fine. So anyways, we got some uh, prostate purslane here. It's kind of a fleshy-looking guy. That's an annual weed. Then we have some prostate spurge in here. We got some yellow wood sorrow. I mean, there's about everything in this little... Here's some yellow nut sedge right there. More yellow wood sorrow. It's got a heart-shaped leaf. Looks kind of like clover, but it's not. Now let's see what else we got down here. You know, we have our a dandelion here. More prostate uh, purslane. And then we have even some common ragweed. I mean, goodness gracious, the whole edge is really getting hammered. But that's what's really neat about having something like this. It can take care of all those weeds. And so I just come through here. Give them a spray down. I bet you if we come back to these guys this afternoon, we're gonna start seeing those guys dying already. So see, I'm just getting the leaves wet. Just getting them wet. Don't gotta go soaking it down. This is professional grade stuff, so you only need to get the dip wet. And it's just so handy to be able to just go around real quick and spray all these little weeds. And so that's how you use a little hand pump sprayer. It's really simple actually going out and managing weeds. So don't be afraid of it. Uh, I also like to go out every time I fertilize and kind of survey the lawn. That helps keep me in check. Uh, I'll have like four or five weeds that I spray in my yard, you know, every time I do some fertilization. Uh, and then if I get a big issue with weeds, then I'll start coming out every two weeks until weeds are gone. I mean, there's some tough ones that need to be sprayed every two weeks like violets. Clover can take a couple shots sometimes, so uh, get out there and clean up that yard after all these weeds popping through. Thanks for listening.